Look where he was sitting. I mean, he's sitting in the wide open. Well, that was fun. I like when they jump that close. Sitting tight now. Look at this little hole that he's in. Go ahead and do it again here since we got Scott back there. This one feels a little more interactive. Talk about, yeah, talk just, about. It's real short, quick. Oh, oh, what we're doing? Yeah. Well, today we are at Pruka's house here. He's getting ready to go. We're all geared up. We're gonna go try to shoot some rabbits and find some sheds. It's pretty weird conditions today. A little icy, a little dreary out, but we're gonna try it nonetheless. Should be fun. Here Look we go. behind you. <laughs> 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 you gotta be careful with yeah. this crew. <laughs> it could get pretty hairy out there. I, I love yeah. it. If there's a lot of shoot, they just Stay flip there, these Scott. down and we're go. good. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, I should have been on this side. I was looking at this. Yeah. You just gotta have these eye, your eyes open at all times, really not focused on anything, just focus on everything. Wide-eyed. Well, here we are at the uh, stupid tree. And uh, November 26th, I was up here. I called Aaron, I think. I think I called Aaron that morning and said, hey, is there anybody around to film me? No, everybody's gone for Thanksgiving. So uh, he goes, get out and hunt. You got to hunt. And uh, it was probably the worst night ever. Everything went wrong that could. I got up here. There were about 20 cattle. It was hot. I forgot my harness had to go back out get my harness come back neighbor was out for a walk walked right underneath the tree and the other neighbor was sighting in his gun because gun season was coming up for about an hour and a half i'm like what am i doing up here and 15 minutes before dark he follows a doe literally stops under the tree walks out in front of that little water hole i have over here perfect quartering away shot at about 28 yards and i hit him in the shoulder he runs across the field two steps into the woods I thought he was going to tip over. He walks back out, works a scrape, follows the doe straight up here to the beans that we just walked through. And I get a shot at him at 35 yards and he runs 40 yards into the timber and tips over. Crazy. It's probably a good thing there wasn't a cameraman. <laughs> no one's going to believe it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a good night. Big deer. Biggest deer in the farm this year. I got lucky. Yeah, out of this old stupid tree, we've had some great hunts over the years. Um, Barbara was up in the tree. Had a decoy set up here before I had my apple trees planted and uh, that big eight we shot. Um, there's still a buck running around this farm that Cassie was filming me when he hit the decoy. Shot one out of that, that blind there. Shot that big nine with Aaron, uh, Aaron that year. So yeah, it's a funny spot because if you see behind me, it's a big pasture. I got a big field out here, an egg field that usually gets picked. Got this little cove that I've got planted in clover and um, timber here, big draw, big draw that way. This is the closest spot between those two those two big chunks of timber and the deer cross here all the time. I got the name Stupid Tree because way across that valley, Kurt was hunt, hunting here one year, years ago when he had a tag, came down from Wisconsin, and he said, you need to put a stand in that tree, right? That stupid tree up on top of the hill because every deer walks right by it. So that's how it happened. He's right in front of me. Yeah, he's like 15 feet away. Come over here. Are you ready? Yeah. He's gonna come to you. There he goes. Is he still in there? Missed him. Missed him. Ah, dang it. If you guys weren't here, I could have smoked him because he's running right at me. I hope Scott's got a good spot up here. Might need to have Zach get out ahead of us there. Look where he was sitting. I mean, he's sitting in the wide open. Well, that was fun. I like when they jump that close. Sitting tight now. Look at this little hole that he's in. First one of the day, second shot of the day. A lot of times when I'm rabbit hunting, I'm jumping them out of a lot thicker stuff than that, but he jumped up right at my feet. Shot him about 10 yards. 
Should love rabbit hunting though. What we're doing is we're trying to circle down below where it's a little bit more open. You just get these openings, that's the key. Especially when you're pushing them yourself, you gotta really be thinking ahead to where you're gonna be able to shoot, you know, like for example, over everything over here to the right is really thick and that's where those guys are driving down towards the bottom. Down here, we've just got these little openings. You just gotta pick them off, run them through there. I'm down here set up, boys. Oh, right ahead, right ahead. Yep, yep, yep. Got one coming down. Here he comes down. Mm -hmm. Stop and everything. I saw there's one I up saw, there. Yeah, I saw him. I didn't have much. Hey, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. We got one sitting right here. Oh, we need Did you get him? I don't know. I don't know he did. It's thick. Get underneath. Hey, hold on, hold on. Damn. Ready? Yep. No, no. Here now. Hold him up. Let me see your picture. Oh, hold him this way. That's your Instagram shot. There you go. Here you go. Dang, things get so far ahead of you. In here, you can't get a shot. So you gotta take what you can get. This thing, man. And this cedar habitat is all back where I'm from. We don't have cedars. So you just jump them and they run out into more open stuff. Mm -hmm. I get in those cedars, you can't see anything. You Dang, I mean, unless you had dogs, your best shots are in these tiny little patches or you gotta shoot them sitting in the brush or you're just never gonna get anything. I got him right there. You see him, Greg? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. All right. Oh, there he goes. Oh, there he goes. He's so far. Oh. <laughs> Son of a gun. There's one thing we've learned today. It's that when you go rabbit hunting with your friends, make sure they got their guns in their pack. Harvest them. You just gotta get in there and get aggressive. Don't hold back. Back in the winter of 2010, they used to refer to me as Dog Farinball because you just gotta plow to get these things, you know, especially when you just got a one gun team. Let's get after them. This looks, <laughs> looks awful rabbity. We got a crack out of here yet. You good? Just tell me one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> got him. Jumped again. We looked down. And he was sitting right there. And he was sitting behind that tree. I could just see his head sticking out, so went ahead and pulled it. Been getting having a lot get away. That one didn't. We weren't gonna let that one get away. I spotted him sitting on the trail right there. They, these things blend in so well. Just sitting in the wide open, you know. Pretty cool, pretty fun. We're jumping a lot today, but I've never hunted them in cedars. They run up under these cedars and you lose track of them and it's hard to get a shot. Let's get a runner. Get one up. is looking pretty good in here. I'd like to jump one more. Just there. See him in there? Just sit. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> These things are just in such thick brush that, you know, we're just having a hard time. We jump them. And they take off and they run to the next brush pile and you can never find them again. But I spotted that guy sitting in that brush pile and he was about to take off and I got a shot at him. So a lot of times it's just like when you're looking for a shed or, a, or even a deer in the woods, you're just looking for something that's, you know, different than a brush pile. If you look in these rose bushes, they must got one down there. If you look in these rose bushes, they're, you know, pretty vertical or horizontal lines. You see that little blob in there and you know it's a rabbit. I wanted for that shot. I tried to hit him in the head as much as possible. I think it did. Yeah. <laughs> you're gonna shoot one time, is that the only kind of shot? <laughs> it's gonna sit in the brush pile. 
And I, he started getting nervous and got on 180. And I just put it just a touch high. That's awesome. Yeah. Federal I'll number six. Four. Number six. Are you shooting sixes? Mm hmm. I was going to shoot seven and a half or eights. Yeah, I, I have a box of seven and a half, but. Yeah, well, the, problem, off, the only problem I don't like with seven and a half or eights is you just get so many BBs in them. You know, big, I don't know, that's always been my my rabbit shell of cho choice. <laughs> hey man, I used to hunt rabbits like, no, seriously, when we were... shot whatever I had. <laughs> yeah, me, well, don't get me wrong, me too. But when I was, when I was probably 17, 18, me and my buddies went seriously every weekend. Oh, every yeah. day that we got canceled from school, we'd gather the troops, go rabbit hunting for... Like that's day. what I hunted first, and I was like mm -hmm. really little. With a 22, didn't you? I hunted with a youth model 20 gauge, looks just like his. Well, Except I don't, is that a youth model? Yeah. 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 I have the same gun. So do I. Yeah, that's my that turkey fun. gun, too. Yeah. I had to take the turkey choke out. You gotta shoulder it a little high because the stock sucks. Stock is yeah. an inch and a half or two inches shorter. Mm -hmm. I've thought about getting a different stock for it, but when I'm turkey hunting, I can just like scrunch up and it's real easy to shoulder it then when I'm sitting it's up It's like the lightest the little thing too, right? Yeah. It's got that short little barrel. Oh yeah, it's awesome. wrap it up quick. So Four on the day is pretty good. I think if we would have had three guns, I think we would have shot twice that many yeah. easy, right? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That'll, you know, that's a couple of meals worth, huh? Yeah, and Brody got, and I got two a couple of weeks ago, so. Sweet. Either that or we could do the old crock pot special, you know what we know best. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's just that's how we cook everything. Crock pot. Chris crock pot. Just throw it in Turkey there. Breast, crock just pot. put some Deer stuff breast, in there and turn it on. Moldy in the refrigerator goes in. <laughs> Whatever works, you know. Oh, that was fun. Thanks for thanks for being the dogs, dudes. Yeah, man, no problem. That's gonna do it for today. Thanks everybody for joining us. We've got a lot of cool stuff coming here in the next few days. Even we're doing a podcast tonight with Dave Owens, and then the legendary crew is coming into town. We're gonna get out for the shed rally this weekend on a bunch of public land and try to pick up some antlers and then uh yeah we'll be turkey hunting here before we know it so we're gonna get to the house get these rabbits cleaned up thanks again and if you haven't please be sure to subscribe below <laughs> is that good Can you guys take my picture is that it? Let's see what you got. Is that the good one there? Yeah. Just that looks a like a <laughs> yeah, that's really good, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, no way.